Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think real hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today we are going to crochet uh, this very cute lizard cut and tie. So the materials are listed at the beginning of the of the video get your materials ready and let's get started okay so we're going to start with the head going down to the tail and we're going to start by making the magic ring and then we'll do six single crochets into the magic ring so one two Three, four, five, and six. And then we'll close the gap. Okay, so now in the second round, I'm just going to place my marker over here before I start the second round. And in the second round, we are going to do single crochet, then increase and repeat that three times. So we'll have a total of nine stitches. So we'll do single crochet, then increase in the next stitch. Then we'll repeat single crochet increase in the next stitch and then again single crochet and increase in the last stitch okay so now in the third round we are going to do two single crochets then increase and repeat that again all the way around for a total of 12 stitches so we are going to do single crochet one single crochet two and increase in the next stitch and then repeat that again two more times so you'll do two single crochets increase then again two single crochets and increase okay after that now in the fourth round we are going to do single crochet increase and then we repeat that six times all the way around for a total of 18 stitches so we'll do single crochet then increase and repeat single crochet then increase and we'll keep repeating that all the way round okay so now after that now in the fifth round we are going to do two single crochets then increase and repeat that all the way round for a total of 24 stitches so we'll do single crochet one single crochet two and then increase and we'll repeat two single crochets then increase and we'll keep repeating that all the way round okay so now in the sixth round we are going to do 10 single crochets then we will increase two times and then we'll repeat that again one time so we'll have a total of 28 stitches okay so we'll do single crochet 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then increase two times. So we'll increase. And then increase again. And then we'll repeat again. So 10 single crochets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then increase again two times. So increase, and then increase again. Okay, so now we have a total of 28 stitches. So now in the next three rounds, which is from round seven until round nine, we are going to do single crochets all the way around in each round for a total of 28 stitches. So we'll continue doing single crochets. And do single crochets all the way to the end in this round and the next two rounds until the ninth round okay i'll see you when you're done with the ninth round so that we start the tenth round together okay so after the ninth round this is how our little lizard looks like so now uh in the tenth round we are going to do five single crochets then decrease and we'll do that four times for a total of 24 stitches so we'll do single crochet one, two, three, four, five, and then decrease. And then repeat that again. So five single crochets. And decrease and then we are going to repeat that again two more times okay so now in the 11th round we are going to do two single crochets then decrease and we are going to repeat that six times for a total of 18 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two then decrease and repeat again so two single crochets and decrease and repeat that all the way round okay so now in the top round uh, we're going to do single crochet then decrease and repeat that all the way around for a total of uh, 12 stitches so we'll do single crochet then decrease and repeat single crochet decrease and continue repeating that all the way round Okay, so now when we're done with that, now for the next th three rounds, which is from round 13 until round 15, we are going to do single crochets in each round for a total of 12 stitches in each round. Okay, so continue doing single crochets until you get to the 15th round and then we'll start the 16th round together. Okay, so when we're done with the 15th round, this is how it looks like. So now in the 16th round, 
we are going to do three single crochets then increase and we'll do that three times for a total of 15 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two so two three and then increase in the next stitch and then we'll repeat that again two more times and also i forgot to tell you uh stuff the head uh before we continue because it's gonna become really narrow uh to stuff so first stuff your head and then we continue okay so now again we'll repeat two more times so three single crochets then increase and one more time three single crochets and increase in the last stitch okay so now in the 17th round we are going to do four single crochets then increase and we'll do that three times for a total of 18 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three four and then increase and then repeat that again two more times so Four single crochets increase and four single crochets and increase okay so now in the 18th round uh, we're going to do five single crochets then increase and we'll repeat that three times for a total of 21 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three four five and increase and then you repeat that again two more times okay so now when we are done with that now for the next 11 rounds which is from the next round round 19 until round 29 we are going to do single crochets all the way in each round for a total of 21 stitches in each round okay so continue doing single crochets until you get to the 29th round and then we'll start the 30th round together okay so now after we are done with round 29 this is how it looks like so now in the 30th round we are going to do five single crochets then decrease and we'll do that three times for a total of 18 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three four five and then decrease And then repeat that again two more times so five single crochets decrease and then again five single crochets and decrease okay so now after that in round 31 we are going to do four single crochets then decrease and we'll do that three times for a total of 15 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three four and then decrease and then you repeat that again two more times okay so now in round 32 uh, we are going to do three single crochets then decrease and then we'll do that three times so we'll have a total of 12 stitches okay so we'll do single crochet 
one, two, three, and then decrease. And then repeat that again two more times. Okay, so now after you're done with that, now for the next uh, two rounds, which is round 33 and round 34, we are going to do single crochets all the way in each round for a total of 12 stitches. Okay, so do single crochets for the next two rounds and then we'll do the 35 round together. So when you're done, continue stuffing as we continue. As you can see, I've already stuffed mine. So now in round 35, we're going to do two single crochets, then decrease and we'll repeat that three times for a total of nine stitches. So we'll do single crochet, one, two, and then decrease. And then repeat again two times. So two single crochets. Then decrease. And then again two single crochets and decrease okay so now when we are done with that now for the next five rounds which is from round 36 until round 40 we are going to do single crochets in each round for a total of nine stitches in each round so from here continue doing single crochets until you get the 40th round and then we'll do round 41 together okay so after round 40 this is how it looks like so always remember to stuff as we go so now in round 41 we are going to start uh, by decreasing and then we'll do uh, two single crochets and then we'll do that two times okay so we'll do we'll decrease then we'll do two single crochets then we'll decrease again So decrease then we'll do again two single crochets and a single crochet in the last stitch okay so now we have a total of um, seven stitches so now for the next three rounds which is from round 42 until round 44 we are going to do single crochets in each round for a total of seven stitches in each round okay so continue doing single crochets until you get to the uh, to round 44 and then we do the round 45 together okay so now after we are done with round 44 this is how it looks like so from here we are not going to stuff anymore so now uh, in round 45 we are going to start by decreasing and then we'll do single crochets in the remaining five stitches Okay, so now we have a total of uh, six stitches so now 
uh, for the next uh, three rounds which is from round 46 until round 48 we are going again to do single crochets all the way in each round so we'll have a total of um, six stitches in each round so continue doing single crochets until we get to round 48 and then we'll do round 49 together okay so after we are done with round 48 this is how it looks like so now in round 49 we are going to start by decreasing so we'll decrease And then we'll do single crochets in the remaining uh, four stitches. So now we have a total of five uh, stitches. So now, uh, in the next two rounds, uh, which is round 50 and round uh, 51, we are going to do single crochets all the way for the two rounds. So we'll have a total of five stitches in each round. Okay, so do single crochets in the next two rounds and then we'll do the 52nd round together. Okay, so now after we are done with round 51, this is how it looks like as you can see. So now in round 52, which is the last round, we are going to start by decreasing. So we'll decrease. So it's quite a little bit tight. Okay, and then we'll do single crochet. and decrease at the end so i'll just remove the marker that's it and then i'll do chain one and cut off the yarn Okay, so that's it guys this is how it looks like as you can see so now we are going to start making the legs okay so guys as you can see I've already made uh, three legs so I'm gonna show you how to make one with this one and then you'll do the others it's uh, really easy so what we do is I'm going to come here so from the neck I'm going to count one two three four and here around the fourth round just to make sure it's uh, uh it's in line it's in alignment to this other leg i just come here and attach my yarn like that Okay, and then I'll do a chain one to attach it. Okay, then after that now I'll continue here uh, at the base. So I'll do single crochet one, single crochet two, then single crochet three okay so we are going to uh, make a base of seven single crochets so we have three and then as we move round we are going to do single crochet four
then single crochet five single crochet six and one last time to join uh, on this other side and single crochet seven okay so we have our base of seven single crochets so i'm going to place my marker over here and then we'll continue and continue uh, in the second round we are going to start by decreasing so starting here where we started off I'm going to decrease so you have to be really careful not to skip any stitches so decrease one time and then we'll do single crochets in the remaining five stitches And the last stitch over here, fifth stitch. Okay, so now we have a total of six stitches. Okay, so now in the third round, we are going to do single crochets all the way. So we'll have six single crochets. Okay, so again in the fourth round we are going to do single crochets all the way around so again we'll have six stitches okay so now in the fifth round we are going to decrease three times so we'll have three stitches Okay, so we'll decrease one time, then decrease the second time, and decrease one more time.
okay so after that i'll remove the marker and then now we'll make the little uh, fingers so we'll start by doing a chain three so we'll do chain one two three and then starting in the second chain from the hook we'll slip stitch and slip stitch in the other stitch and then again we'll do a chain three so one two three and then in the second chain from the hook we'll slip stitch and slip stitch one last time and then again uh, to make the last finger we are going to do a chain three one two three and then in the second chain from the hook we'll slip stitch and slip stitch in the last chain and then after that we'll come to the uh, base over here of the leg and we are going to slip stitch then do a chain one and uh, we are going to cut off the yarn like that so there we have it that is how we make the legs as you can see it's quite easy so this is how it looks like as you can see so cute okay so you're going to make the other legs the exact same way using uh the body as the base you're going to do seven uh single crochets just like the way i've showed you and continue in the same exact way as you can see so i made my legs one two three four five six seven so seven uh rows apart as you can see from the first leg like that and there you have it so now uh as you can see i've already also put my eyes over here and i've put it one two three four five six uh, between the seventh and the eighth round over here and this other side as you can see at the very end and uh, to flatten the face I've just uh, passed uh, a little yarn from this other side this other side just to make it a little bit flat so I think I'm gonna do the same here also to make it more flat but you can leave it like that if you want to so now uh, to make these ties over here we are going to come to the base to the bottom part uh, of the body as you can see uh, near the first leg and uh, that's where we'll attach our yarn so I'll just come over here like that then attach my yarn so I'll make two of these one on this side and one on this other side and then I'll do a chain one to attach the yarn and then after that I'll do four single crochets so I'll come over here do single crochet one then do again single crochet two single crochet and single crochet four then I'll do a chain one and turn then when I turn starting here at the very end I'm again going to continue to do four single crochets until the end then do chain one and turn and then again continue doing single crochets all the way
okay so you'll continue doing like that do chain one and then do four single crochets across all the way until you have uh your tie as long as you want and then uh when you get here at the very end over here you'll decrease two times and then again decrease one time okay so uh let's do that as long as you want then i'll show you how to finish up over here okay so guys when we are done making the tying strap uh when you get to the end i'm going to do a chain one and then i'm going to decrease two times so i'm going to decrease and then decrease again then i'll do a chain one and then decrease again one time then i'll do a chain one and cut off the yarn okay so that's it guys as you can see this is how it looks like so i'll be tying my cutting over here and then uh it will look like uh the gecko or the lizard is on the cutting as you can see so cute so thank you so much guys for watching if you have any questions you can ask in the comments below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe until next time bye